it's Melissa again. I'm here to do a small haul from a company called Emma Ray's Garden. They're located in Texas. And I got this little stash from a haul, or from a swap on a forum that I'm no longer allowed to use. So when I first got the box, I was a little confused because I was like, I don't even know what it was. I'm like, I didn't order anything from anybody. And then I was like, oh, this must be from the swap. And so it was unexpected that I was still going to receive this. And I'm really glad that, that I was still included in the swap because it's a really beautiful little package. And um, the lady who owns it, her name is Sharon Smithers. And she is from Carthage, Texas. And her company is called Emma Ray's Garden. It's a really cute little card. Super duper cute little packaging. I don't know who Emma Ray is. Maybe Sharon will stop by and let us know. But anyway, I was really, really happy to get this to get this stuff, and it was supposed to be a soap swap, but unfortunately, her soaps were destroyed by the children in her house, so she sent me her other Bath and Body goodies, and it is really just amazing stuff. So I'm going to try and do this in the order of the stuff that, like the order that it is on her letter, because she included a letter letting me know what everything was. And the first thing is this bath fizzy, and it has a super cute little heart sticker. <laughs> I am doing the best I can to keep the lighting even. All I have in here is a little desk lamp, and uh, it gets very bright as you can see. <laughs> but the little sticker is super cute, came around with hot pink paper, and it smells so good. Oh. It smells really, really good. The fragrance on it, what did you say the fragrance on it was? It's called Savannah. It's a blend of magnolias, peach, raspberry, freesia, and a tiny hint of honeysuckle. So she must be southern. Well, obviously from Texas being southern. But it's a very light pink color. I'm going to turn on the overhead light real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, I felt like that helps a lot more. I always forget that light is there because we never ever use it. I only ever turn on the desk lamp. So overhead light and bath fizzy. As you can see, it is crumbling a little bit. She did say in her letter that she wondered if it was going to hold up in shipping, that she'd never tried to ship these before. But um, it did It did hold up. I had opened the package the other day and was looking at it. It was perfectly fine. So all the crumbling is from, from my handling it, not from her handling it. <laughs> it smells absolutely delicious. I can't wait to take a bath with that. So the next thing is the lip balm, and the lip balm is Cucumber Melon. Put you down real quick here. And what does she have to say about the lip balm? Uh, nothing, just that what the ingredients are, and that it's Cucumber Melon flavor, and it has Coral Pink Mica. So there's that. Mmm, smells really good. It smells just exactly like cucumber. Very good. Can't wait to try that one. I'll do it right now. Mmm, feels really, really good. It feels, uh, what do you call that? Like a chapstick, like the kind that you get in the drugstore, like a very uh, firm, not waxy like that, not hard like that, but just a a very firm, smooth texture. Good job on that one, Sharon. That one feels great. Thank you so much. I really, really, really am enjoying this stuff. I just think it's really fun to do this kind of thing. And by the way, um, there's probably somebody in the swap who hasn't got their box yet. And your box will be going out on Monday. When I got this box, I emailed the... Stay up. I emailed the person who organized the swap and said, hey, you know... I thought that since I'm not allowed to use the form anymore, that I wouldn't be included in the swap. So, but since I am, and I received a package, I like to send the package. So she understood that, yes, I should still still do this. So she gave me your address. So, friend who hasn't got a box yet, just wait a few days. Your box is going out on Monday. <laughs> um, and I'm sorry, I will get that out to your priority. That way you get it, you know, by the middle of next week. But anyway, the next thing is a lotion bar. And... All her stuff comes wrapped in these really cute little organza bags with these cute little pink, hot pink paper. It's really girly and like girly in a grown-up way. <laughs> 
And she said it was very heavy. Oh, sorry, my finger. She said it was very um heavy because in Texas it's so hot and her clients want something that's very heavy. And, you know, out here in Nevada where I live, it gets very hot here too. And I like, and I like heavy lotions. So there's that. And in this one, the fragrance on it is... It's delicious. It smells like the inside of Whole Foods Market. That's exactly what it smells like. It smells like when you first, first walk into Whole Foods and the, the smells from the market first get you. So what did she say about that one? This one is Sweet Orange and Ylang Ylang. And it doesn't have that really overly Ylang Ylang smell to it that you either love or hate. This just smells really good. It smells, you know, once again, it just smells like, like Whole Foods Market. I don't know how else to say it. Mmm. Mmm. And I love, love heavy lotions. I just suffer from chronic dry skin. And the heavier, the better because it creates a, a moisture barrier or creates a barrier on my skin so that the moisture doesn't keep leaving my skin. So I love this, Sharon. This feels so good. It just feels so moisturizing and it feels smooth. It feels thick. It's melting right into my skin as I'm using it and touching it. Absolutely amazing. Mm, thank you so much for including this one. She also included a sugar scrub. Now look at this little box. Isn't this just adorable? This little Chinese takeout box and the little patterns, little gift boxes. And in here she put a little amethyst quartz rock and she said for safe travel. And I don't know what that means. Um, maybe she thought that it would bounce around too much, which is not really a worry because she packed it in, in green paper. So it was well insulated. But I happen to love amethyst, and I don't know how you knew that because I don't know if I put in the information about the spot that I loved purple or if you read it in somewhere. I don't recall saying it. But amethyst is my absolute favorite stone. It's, it's just so pretty. Um... I don't know if, if how many people know this, but an amethyst is actually just a quartz. And it gets its purple color from the impurities in the ground, all the mineral buildup that gets into those quartzes and it turns them purple. And if you're spiritual at all, um, quartz, um, quartz and amethyst have a lot of different meanings and a lot of different things that you can do with them if you're into um, spiritual things. So, you know, Sharon, I don't know why you put this in the box, but it was a very special touch and it, it actually means a lot to me that that um that this was in there whether you intend or not so thanks thanks a bunch <laughs> so then the next the sugar scrub itself is rosemary mint cute little two ounce jar with the little silver top and there's the sugar in there and what's the little it's Epsom salts and sugar and this must be like rosemary's that are in there. You see the little pieces that are in there? Mmm. And that reminds me of New Orleans. If anybody's ever been to New Orleans, the smell coming off the Mississippi when you're downtown, that's what that smells like. And this has rosemary and wintergreen. And the rosemary is from, from her garden. So, mmm, yum. Thank you. <laughs> That's a really, really fine grain. That's like regular table sugar, I guess. Let's speak it in there a little bit better. Yeah, table sugar. And it's dry, not too wet at all. So thank you for that. That's really nice, too. You did a really beautiful job with all this. And, you know, I know that you said in your letter that when you get soap, you will send soap. Um, you don't really have to. This is more than enough. Please don't feel like you have to send anything more than you already have. This was more than enough. It was supposed to be a two to three item swap and you've sent one two three four five so you know thank you so much you make beautiful 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 things but please don't feel that you have to compensate just because you didn't send soap um accidents happen kids get into things and it's tragic that that happened i'm really sorry to hear that happen but i think you've more than made up with all of the lovely things that you've sold that you've sent already um here's the candle this is the last thing in the swap and this has a very, very soft, very romantic scent to it. It's Jasmine Fragrance, which is one of my favorites. Um, you know, I really, I really want to say that I think that you've hit right on the head all the things that I like. I don't know how you knew all this. 
And you must be like super psychic or something. I don't know. But jasmine is one of my favorite florals. And just a little ounce candle. I'm not sure if this is a, it's a soy wax, I think. Oh, it's a lotion candle. Okay, in her letter it says a lotion candle. I missed that. This has soy wax. It's coconut, almond, cocoa butter, and jasmine fragrance. So it's actually a lotion candle. I was thinking I was going to light this just to light it, but heck, it's going to melt and it's going to be all over my body because it smells so good. Super fun. I've never had one of these before, but I think they're great. I can't wait to try yours. And thank you again for all the lovely things that you have sent. I'm really happy that you did. Um, excuse me. I'm really happy that I was still included in the swap. I'm really, really impressed by the quality and the variety of the things that, that you made, Sharon. And I'm going to... Um, you don't really have a website, I guess. I looked online, but maybe if you want to, you know, stop by my YouTube page and put a comment. If you do have a website, please feel free to do that. And um, for Buddy who hasn't got their box yet, yours is going out next week. And um, I think that just about wraps it up. Thanks for watching, and everybody have a really great night, and I will see you very, very soon.